Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a feature that Microsoft started rolling out with last week's optional bug fix C-release update, as I have posted, is the new Copilot app, which Microsoft is calling the Copilot experience. And basically what this does is um, it behaves more like a native app compared to the existing Copilot, which means you can, as an example, resize, move and snap the window. And it's also pinned to the taskbar like any normal native app. Now, although Microsoft is calling this a new Copilot experience, according to reports during the rounds online, um, because first of all, this is on a controlled rollout, and as I mentioned previously, uh, is not available in all regions, and I'm in one of those regions. But according to reports, um, the new Copilot app is getting a little bit less useful, so to speak, and is a downgrade from the actual Copilot that we find in Windows 11 currently. And basically, the new Copilot app, unlike the current existing Copilot, is basically a web app. And what it does is it basically opens up a modified version of copilot.windows.com, which is the desktop web app that we find, as an example, if we head to that address in Microsoft Edge or any web browser for that matter. And uh, um, because currently in the so-called normal copilot um, on windows 11 you can ask it to open up apps and uh, change system settings so as an example i can say open notepad i'll beat a little bit um you know it's not that efficient because you still got to wait for the thing to respond and sometimes i just find that heading to Notepad as an example and just opening it up manually is a lot quicker than asking Copilot to open it up for you. So there you get the idea. So basically, currently, um, in the existing Copilot, you can open up apps and ask it to change system settings. Now, although um, this is the case uh, in the so-called normal Copilot, with the new Copilot app rolling out, Apparently, you can still chat with um, the app like you currently can in the normal Copilot, an existing Copilot, but Microsoft apparently has removed minimal integration that was previously available, including the ability to adjust system settings and themes using voice commands. So if we head over to a screenshot provided by the good folks over at how to geek you can see when asked to open Notepad, it says, I apologize for any inconvenience, but as an AI language model, I don't have the capability to directly open applications. So there you go. So it then tells you what you can do to open it um, using your keyboard and so on. So it seems that Microsoft has removed um, that integration. And basically now the chatbot, the chatbot works exactly like the Copilot web app without that system integration. Now, there basically are two sides to this coin, so to speak, because um, I don't think many people were using the so-called voice commands to open Notepad or adjust light theme to dark theme and vice versa. And I think that's why Microsoft removed that capability. So on one side, I can see maybe why they did it and why it's so-called getting less useful, for want of a better word. And on the other side, I can actually see that the app will be a more kind of clutter-free, minimal, lightweight experience compared to how it is now. And um, this, you know, I'm always, I'm always in favor of things getting less cluttered and having functionality but being less cluttered in Windows and in, and in any browser. So although it's getting less useful um, without that integration to adjust uh, system settings using your voice command as an example um, the app is getting more lightweight and apparently um, this was due to feedback where the extra features weren't be used weren't being used by a lot of people and that's why it seems now that Microsoft removed that kind of onboard integration where you can ask Windows you can ask Copilot to change certain things in Windows and apps so um, just putting it out there um, because obviously um, that app is on the way, like it or not, to Windows 11. It is on a controlled rollout. So um, 
I think it's just a matter of time before you get it because it was starting to become available with the latest optional bug fix C release update. And there's a good chance, like myself, I haven't received it yet, but there's a good chance that we should be getting that, I think, rolling out with our Patch Tuesday update next week, Tuesday in a week's time on the 9th of July. So obviously if that does happen, um, I will uh, let you guys know. And let me know in the comments if you are interested. Have you received the new Copilot app? And um, how do you find it? Um, are you missing that integration? Or just give me your thoughts down below. I'm always open to constructive comments. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.